Hey guys, welcome back to Star Wars Galaxies. For the third, no, fourth time, I'm going to be attempting to record this video. The first time, I recorded the entire thing and my microphone was not on. So I just had my audio recording software, which is one line going across, because there was no audio input device. Second time, and I guess it was also on the first time, but I didn't even get that far was I never changed the resolution because, as you may notice by my interface, I had to reinstall the game, which means interface resets and everything resets. So the game was recording at 800 by 600, although it was stretched across my full monitor, I never noticed. Everything was really big. I just, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think about it. Export it into Premiere. Tiny little box in a big window. So... I started recording again without changing the resolution. Got about halfway through the video and realized, so I stopped recording. Fixed the resolution, which is why now you see everything's really, you know, kind of small and looks better organized. Now we're going to record this for the fourth time and hopefully do it properly. So, the first thing that I recommend doing when you first get into this game, which I should have done in my last video, but. I didn't, I guess. Go to your controls. Go to your key mapping. I'm on MMORPG EverQuest style, but you're going to be on Star Wars Galaxies. Now, I'm not going to click it because it makes it very annoying. But, basically, W does not move. When you click W, you're going to be typing. Eh, I guess I can do it. Might as well. I'll show the fans what it's like. So W is he's typing. I have to use the arrow keys because enter. I don't know if you can hear me pressing enter. It looks like it's gone. Nope, it's not gone. A combat is also F1 to F12, as you can see in the top. Not one to one to equals. Yeah, one to equals. Because obviously, when you type one or two or anything, it's going to type the numbers. So I recommend going to your key mapping and choosing EverQuest style. That's your standard WAs need to move and all that kind of stuff. The one thing I change is the walk left and right. I don't like strafing with Z and C. And clear both those and I recommend clearing it or else when you rebind in this game it stacks the rebindings. It doesn't just like change it from Z to Q which is what I'm going to rebind it to. It actually just adds it, and I find that really annoying if you, if you press the wrong button or something. Now, what these pop-ups are saying is, you know, E is confined to male. Yes, I'm going to overwrite it, so now male is not E. Not that I really care. I'm not going to check my mail all that often. Although, you can check your mail anywhere, unlike some games. You just go to your mail tab. Um, so... This video, as I was talking about last week, was going to be all about skills. And here is the skill tree, which looks much better when it wasn't stretched out across my entire screen in really big text. And maybe I'll do a better job of explaining it the fourth time. So the brawler. I'm brawler. And as I realized also, this, I showed how to get rid of a skill. And did I actually got rid of a skill, but now it's already gone, so I can't get rid of it. When you start the game, you get to pick between a brawler, a marksman, a medic, a scout, an artisan, I don't know if I said that already, and a trainer. Or not a trainer, entertainer. I chose a brawler. They give you novice brawler. This gives you some stats that have to do with brawling and some abilities. Unarmed lunge one, two-handed lunge one, taunt, pole arm lunge one, one, blah, blah, blah. Pole arm lunge one, one hand lunge one. Basically, they give you a skill for each tree. Now, I went unarmed, so in order to get skill, you would just hit people unarmed. Use unarmed lunge one, plus the normal attack, you know, a command with no weapon attached, and you'll get unarmed skill. When you get to, you, when this maxes out, so I go over here, you can see. Requires 7,000 or 70,000. 
and I got 12,000 at the moment. When that gets max, you can go to a trainer in, you know, Moss Isley or wherever you are. I'm not sure if they're in every town. They are in Moss Isley, and that's kind of the starting town if you choose it to be so. Or you can go to Naboo or whatever. And there are trainers there, of course, as well. And a trainer, will you pay him, and he'll train you this. Although, another player who already has the skill, an armed four, could train it to me for a significantly less fee than a trainer would. You know, especially if the guild member might do it, maybe do it for free, depending on, you know, what kind of guild you're in. Or if it's a random person, maybe a thousand credits. That training will probably cost you 10,000 from a trainer. So, you hit people with a one-armed weapon, a one-handed weapon, you get one-handed skill, and so on. Now, I started with the Novice Brawler, because I chose to be a Brawler at the beginning. But you can become a Marksman, a Medic, and a Scout, like I have, and get other skills, and that's how you kind of make a custom class for yourself. Every skill you choose, like these, require two skills. I have 177 out of 250. You can surrender the skill and get two back, as you can see. You know, training this number, training hunting two will require three out of my 177. That kind of limits you, you, so you can't basically max out every single class in the game. You're limited to how many skill points you have. Now the advanced classes, how do they work? Well, for Brawler, Novice Brawler into Unarmed 1, Unarmed 2, Unarmed 3, Unarmed 4 can go into Smuggler, Terracossi Artist, or Commando. Or, of course, skip those and go to Master Brawler. But Master Brawler also needs one armed 4, two handed 4, and four arms 4. One armed 4 can also go to Fencer, two handed 4 can also go to Swordsman. Polearm 4 can go to Pikeman, but obviously unarmed as you can see has three options. Personally, I'm going to go Tirikasi Artist, because I like their fighting style. It's an unarmed combat with a lot of dodge, so it can be very... I've heard it can be very good in PvP if done well, because people you just can't be hit. You're kind of like a... It's kind of like a monk from World of Warcraft, except, I mean, they can obviously be hit. These guys, from what I've heard, have a very high dodge skill and speed, so, yeah, I have no idea, I never got that far, I hope to one day. If you go to my professions, or all professions, these are all the professions in the game, a lot of these are the advanced versions, as you can see, so, you know, uh, I'm not sure what that line is there for, actually, yeah, I don't know what that line is there for, but anyway. So, Doctor, Creature Handler, Commando, there's nothing that these go to besides Master Commando because these are high-end, end game, you know, skills and trees and things like that. So, my current build is I'm going Brawler into Terracossi Artist to become a Terracossi Master, as well as leveling Scout, because I've heard leveling up a little bit into Scout is pretty useful for Terracossi. And medic. Having the ability to heal yourself a little bit while in combat can be pretty useful as well. So that's my build. Those three classes. Brawler that will turn into Terracossi Artist, m uh, Medic, and Scout. Although I do have Marksman, which I've heard is good for leveling purposes to get your other skills up because you can get some dodge or you can get some defenses. It's, not, it's minor defenses. But if you're working out your scouting skill, which doesn't require you to get your brawling skill up, you could use a blaster in the process and get some defense. That just It's a passive. I mean, you can just keep it there if you have extra skill points to go to waste. And if you don't, of course, it's something to get rid of. So that is, I mean, that's basically skills. You just, it's very grindy. You just have to do things. You have to do whatever the skill is. Pistols require to use pistols. Carbines require you to use carbines to get that skill. Scouting. Exploration requires you to explore. Hunting requires you to kill creatures and skin them. 
Survival requires you to also skin them. You get XP for both. Except you get XP for the kill and the skin. The two sets of experience. When this is only one set of experience. And I believe survival also comes from crafting. If you turn hide into like a tent, which I'll, do, I'll explain in a, another video, you get survival experience, and so on. Everything you do in the game is based on doing what the skill requires you to do. Then level it up from a player or from a trainer. And slowly advance your character. Along with getting gear and doing it with friends. You know, that kind of sums up the entire combat of the game. So, quickly, I show in my other attempts at recording this, I show you the mission terminal. To get an idea of how much money you would get. I didn't accept the mission. I'll be doing that in another video. But if you look here, you know, 2,228. That's pretty good. Although they're in complete opposite directions. You know, if you have the... That would be good. But if you can get two in the same direction, like east and east, that's, in total, that's 2,000 experience for those two missions. Except this one's really easy. Because it's on the, you know, it's near the top. And this one, you know, is... It's not too bad. The reward isn't great compared to these two. But the time... You could do these two quicker than you could probably do, you know, two of these. You could do one of these, but one of these will take longer than two of these. If that makes sense. I think I didn't really make that... You know, that I don't think that made that much sense, but hopefully that made sense. So you see difficulty... Difficulty is kind of just like you learn what difficulty means to your character. Like, that was difficulty 22. You know, can you do level 22? Probably. I mean, if it's showing you the, if it's showing you on the list a level 22 mission, you could probably do it. That's kind of how this it works. They won't show you a level 50 if you can't handle it. And, you know, you also have to be on the right planet. If you're on, like, a... I don't know what... Like, a, a higher level planet... Or a more dangerous planet, they'll show you higher level missions that you just plain can't do because you're... A, you know, you're a novice brawler or something like that. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Now, I'm not sure when my next video is going to come out. It's either going to be one next week and one the week after. Or I might do two next week if people want to. We'll see. But I'm going to cover two things. In one video, crafting and how it works. And another video will be combat and how that works. So I'll do a mission. I'll show you how to, you know, do your mission, claim your reward. And also how combat works. So comment in the in comment on this video which one you want to see first. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.